anger, was what made Cain kill his brother Abel. We know this story. They both offered sacrifices to God, and God accepted Abel's sacrifice and not Cain's sacrifice. This made Cain angry. We understand that frustration might have made Cain angry, but Cain allowed the devil to take over his anger. It became uncontrollable. Genesis 4, 6 through 7, NIV. Then the Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry? Why is your face downcast? If you do what is right, will you not be accepted? But if you do not what is right, sin is crouching at your door. It desires to have you, but you must rule over it. God asked Cain why he was angry when he did not do the right thing. Cain did not control this anger, but allowed it to control him. Sin came into the life of Cain through anger and destroyed him. Cain killed his brother Abel in the end. The first murder in human history was not against two people who were enemies. It was not between two distant groups of people, no. It was because of two brothers that were flesh and blood. This is what we call nowadays a crime of passion. If we could look through the corridors of history, a great deal of all murders will be because of crimes of passion. Are you allowing anger to control your life? Have you realized that you just get angry at some times or some people for no reason? Have you noticed that when you get angry, it is hard for you to control it? I need to tell you the truth. You are going against the warning that has been given about anger. I want to warn you. You are allowing destruction at your doorstep. You are positioning for what you will regret going into. No one said it is easy to control your anger. And no one is judging you for having the problem. But you need to control it before it controls your future. Do you know how many people are regretting being in jail today because they made the wrong step by getting angry? Do you know how many people have lost a big opportunity because of anger? If the devil cannot get you easily, he will make sure that he sends people to test your patience. And if you fail, he will send the spirit of anger to control. Someone said, Getting angry is not a sin, but going in the direction of anger is sin. Don't deceive yourself. What are the other reasons we are warned against anger in the Bible? 1. Anger is an enemy of righteousness. James 1, 19-20 Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. No matter what causes your anger, no matter who is making you angry, the Bible says anger can never work the righteousness of God. Anger will make you do evil. Anger will cause bitterness in you. It will make you wish someone falls or someone is faced with bad luck. Anger will make you think of different kinds of evil. These things are not righteousness. They are evil. And that is why they cannot give you the righteousness that God wants. If you want the righteousness that God wants, you must run away from the spirit of anger. Anger is a gateway to much other unrighteousness. It is what will make you sin and then end up in regret. Do you want to live a righteous life? Do you want to live in the way that God wants you to live? 
then you must run from the spirit of anger. You must be able to control your anger and never let the devil use it to control you into doing evil. Learn to let go of anything people have done to you. You must learn to let go of the pains of yesterday. Of course, it will not be easy. It will affect you in different ways, but you still have to forgive. If you can forgive, you will be free from bitterness. You will be free from hatred. You will be free from all kinds of toxicity in you. Two. Anger is for the fool. It makes you become a fool. Ecclesiastes 7 9. Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, for anger resteth in the bosom of fools. The reason why the Bible says anger is for the fools is that only people who don't know the side effects of anger will get angry and live in anger. And then, even sin in anger. They don't have the knowledge of the repercussions of anger. When you know all the repercussions, when you know that anger can destroy you, when you know anger can make you do things that you will regret and you still get angry, you are a fool. The Bible calls these kinds of people a fool. You know what anger can bring to your life, but you still allow the spirit of anger to control you and land you in trouble. Don't allow anger to rest in you. Do you want to know how to mess up your life and make decisions out of anger? No decision made out of anger is a smart decision. Anger will make you make a dumb decision, foolish decisions. To fight someone over an argument is foolish. But that is what anger will do. We have been called into the light of Christ. We have been called to carry the Spirit of God. And there is nothing like anger in the fruit of the Spirit. You need to learn to control your anger. If you have the Holy Spirit in you, you will have the fruit of self-control and you will never make a foolish mistake by allowing anger to get the best of you and control you. Proverbs 29, 11. Fools give full vent to their rage, but the wise bring calm in the end. 3. Anger stirs up strife. Proverbs 15, 18. A hot-tempered person stirs up conflict, but the one who is patient calms a quarrel. If there are things God hates, one of them is those who sow discord, those who stir up strife amongst brethren. That is what anger can make you do. If you get angry, and you cause division or you stir up strife, if you cause violence among the people, you are pushing yourself to the zone of punishment from God. You are making yourself become an enemy of God. There is one way we can overcome anger, and that is through the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will give us the fruit of self-control. This fruit will help us to control our anger. Even if we get angry, we will make sure we don't let it last or let the spirit of anger or the devil make use of it against us. We need the Holy Spirit to help us at this time. Alongside with the fruit of the Spirit, you need to understand yourself. If you are a person who struggles with anger, remove yourself from a situation that will get you worked up. Go out for a walk and cool down. Even if you meet people who need to be put in their place, the world is full of people who need to be put in their place. But it is not your job to put them in their place. Did you hear me? It is not your job for you to put people in their places. 
Remove yourself from the situation before it escalates. Your life is too precious for it to be run by anger.